Hey, I'm your top L8 here. It's cold in Canada, and that's why I'm wearing a toque in the house. That's right. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video uh, about uh, something I just saw. Uh, I mean, this is sort of prevalent now in the New Age sort of culture, is that, uh, and you see these little posts on Facebook and things, and they say, if uh, something doesn't serve you anymore, let it go. And, like they're talking about, I would assume, talking about, like, people, like, and, and this um, manifests in, you know, people just cut people out of their lives. They say, well, you're, you're not serving me anymore. It's, it's negativity, or it's uh, just not serving my highest good. And the thing I want to uh, stress here is, that most people don't, don't have a clue what their highest good is. Um, they think their highest good is being positive and happy all the time and, and just uh, pushing everything else out that, that doesn't resonate with this um, most desirable state. But what I would um, tell you is uh, to consider is that when something bothers us, and brings us out of this happy state, uh, most likely we've been in a state of delusion, a state of uh, Pollyanna, just everything's good, everything's great, I love life, everything's awesome. But really it's it's um, it's a better choice than depression um, and um, angriness, anger, but it's still the same thing. It's, it's still, it's just going on the other end of the spectrum um, away from peace. And so, and then people will be like, well, uh, this person's no longer serving me. And truly, like I made a video about this before, um, something similar. Like if somebody's abusing you, you know, and uh, being really actually negative, like calling you names and, and uh, insulting you all the time, um, yeah, release that person, man. It's, that's not serving you, of course. Um, you know, somebody who's punching you in the face all the time, you're not going to stand there and be like, oh, this is really good, I like this. Um, you know, these are circumstances where, yeah, it's great to release. Um, however, I would say that I think we should all try to use a little bit more fortitude and staying power and just, if it's something like, uh, it just doesn't resonate with you, I would suggest that it's because the mind, the, this identity, this false self, this false belief of who I am and my belief systems and my values has been threatened. And that, that identity, that set of belief systems is who you are not. So to defend that and to cut people out because, oh, they're um, just not resonating with my highest good sort of thing. I would say a lot of time people mistake that for Re they're not reinforcing my ego. They're not reinforcing, reinforcing who I believe myself to be. And really, a lot of times, these people uh, can, can help you so much more than you realize because, because they're showing you they're showing you where you have resistance. And the thing we need to do to realize our nature is release all resistance and just be, just be and just feel without attaching meaning to things. And so... What I think is, is um, be careful with this idea of, of um, releasing people who are not serving your higher good and, and allow people to, to be there and you allow yourself to be with them and what they're saying and if it, if it rattles you a little bit um, or a lot, go within. Go within to that silence. Come back <laughs> to your breath and, and see if, if you can find peace and allowing them to be who they are, and have it not, um, you know, not affect your highest good. Because everything is for your highest good. And this is this, the interesting thing that nobody's really talking about, is everything is for your highest good. Even, you know, like I talk about, I don't, I don't think uh, people should kill animals. All the people that are killing animals are for my highest good, you know, <laughs> so that I don't resist um, killing of animals. Even though I don't think, I don't think it is in uh, the animals' highest good, <laughs> because they're getting killed. Um, even though 
you know, I, I just don't, I don't think it is. But, but for me, for myself, for my own highest good, I could just, you know, I could say, well, you know, all my friends that continue to kill animals, I mean, selfish and, and they're just killing animals and they're not thinking about what they're doing and their karma and all this stuff. I could go down that road, but I don't because it's their choice. It's their karma. It's their life. And they're the ones taking animals' lives, and, and I could say, well, it's not serving my highest good because I believe that um, you know you should, we should be all a bit vegans and vegetarians, or whatever. But really, that's my set of beliefs. And if I say that people who eat animals are not serving my highest good, all I'm doing is reinforcing my belief that Ami is a vegetarian. You know, but really, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not even an Amitabha. I'm just, I'm just this nothing that thinks it's... Sorry, I'm having a hard time just holding this one. Hands getting shaky! Um, so, so let's just, um, let's just think about this. Let's, and, and more than think about it, let's, um, see if we can, you know, this is a new year. Maybe this is a new, it could be a resolution for you or something. Is allowing people to be who they are and not have them affect your state of, of peace. And, and not trying to be in this, this, exultant sort of um, I don't know if that's the right word but sort of just Pollyanna everything is great oh, and I just you know because that's ignorance my friends ignorance is when when we don't want to look at something and a lot of times I would say almost all times when people say oh this person's not serving my highest good um, because I had a fight with them you know I had a fight with them and it's like well who is participating both parties that means you were too you had resistance too so, you know, I mean, the, the, the thing we, we really should try to do is allow people to tell tell you, you know, allow somebody to tell you what they think completely, even if it fully, totally doesn't resonate with anything you believe to be true, and just listen to it. Even if you think it's a complete lie, just be like, oh, well, that's an interesting perspective. You know, I, I allow and honor your perspective. I don't agree with it, but, but, I, but I allow that, and I appreciate that. And so... And, and so then we don't get ourselves caught in these um, defensive ego strategies of saying, well, this person's not serving my highest good. I disagree with them. I had a fight. And now I'm just going to cut them out. Or, you know, just something they said, um, it made me feel uncomfortable. And that discomfort, my friends, is the ego saying, this is who I am, and you are that. You're that, and I'm this, and you better stay away because you can't, you, you can't be telling me that I'm not this and, and what I believe is right. And really, any anytime we do that, anytime we say, and I've done it a lot, um, I think I'm right. You know, I think I'm right about this. I believe this. This is my truth. We're just solidifying this false edifice ego that really isn't real and is really what's standing in our way from connecting with our full source of what we really are. And I don't I can't say I know completely what that is, but I've tasted it. And when you meditate, when you release yourself then you get closer when you release all your thoughts, when you release all your beliefs and all your sense of self. Something changes. You feel more peaceful. Intuition awakens. And uh, synchronicities start to happen. So that has to tell us that we're heading in the right direction. You know, more uh, sense of well-being all the time. Uh, increased health. Um, more wakefulness. You're less tired. You sleep better. So when we meditate and we and we experience these things through letting ourselves go, we have to say, well, that's probably the right direction. And the thinking, you know, all these kind of thoughts saying, well, this is not serving my eyes good, it could possibly be going in the wrong direction. So anyways, I just want to make a quick video about that. I'm going to let you go, and I love you so, so, so. Peace.